all right guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be talking or making a video about how to do a uh, marmalized paint job and I'm gonna be using this casting I'm gonna try to stick with the yellow theme call it El Pollo Loco custom so uh, let's start by opening the car up I already have uh, drilled it apart and I have my button head screws in there so once I take it apart I'll be back all right so I took it apart uh, usually to do this process it's recommended to use a uh, start off with a black base right and then use uh, either a white or a silver color and then you're gonna end up with uh you gotta use a transparent color i don't recommend uh using the original spectra frame colors for this as they tend to be uh they tend to be dark you know they, they do cover a lot and you want to paint that's uh basically like really watered down i'm gonna give you my suggestions uh, but before we start I saw this trick in uh, Facebook using a dry erase marker so I gotta do this on Facebook on how to remove tempos uh, I'm pretty sure it, it could be any color so basically what he does is he uses the marker to water down the the original temple so this basically removes the temple without messing up the paint they leave uh, a mark there but these temples were like they were really thick so I'm pretty sure if you if I polish that maybe it'll go back but it's a different idea it's uh, worth trying it out so uh, the next step that I'm gonna do I should remove all these uh, flames but you know I want to keep them intact just so uh, we'll see how it en ends up and first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint it black uh, you need to paint it with a real thick coat and you're gonna need I think this is called shrink uh, shrink wrap it's so basically you get a supermarket and it's plastic you're gonna have a little piece ready enough to cover the car you need doesn't have to be a lot but you do need to have it ready uh, you might want to get it all shrinkled up give you a better ef effect but have that ready so I'm gonna go ahead and paint this black and I'll be back all right guys so I just gave it a generous coat of black paint and uh, pay attention to the next step.
right guys so you just saw what I did check it out so basically if you have a black base you wait for it to dry and you do it backwards you're gonna have uh, a lot more yellow showing than black right but this is uh, why I'm gonna do a different step here I'm gonna add up uh, a step I kind of see the flames through this uh, I want to see how it ends up looking but uh, now I'm gonna put it in the oven 170 degrees for maybe five minutes not even good two minutes is good enough I just want that coat to dry up and because the next step I'm gonna be painting with white paint and once I do that I'll be back all right guys so took it off the oven you gotta wait until it uh, cools down a little bit and then I gave it a, a good coat of white paint and basically we're gonna be doing the same thing Alright guys, so there you have it. Uh, basically, we're going to put it back in the oven. Uh, this time, I wanted the oven at least 5 minutes. I want to make sure those two combination of colors of paint job, uh, they are completely dry for the next step. And I'm going to be talking to you while that happens. I'm going to tell you uh, about the next paint job. Alright guys, so... For the next step, uh, like I mentioned before, I want to I wanna have a yellow, basically, color. If you will be painting a real car, right, they call it a candy color, which is basically a translucent paint. And uh, for me, this is why I don't recommend using uh, Spectra Flame, because Spectra Flame, it's not really watered down it is transparent but it covers you know it will cover too much uh from what i've seen uh my experience these two options will be the best uh you have this duplicator paint which they sell in uh autozone i think and this krylon stained glass paint both of these will give you the same result they are exactly the same color even though the cap so different color i prefer to use krylon because uh, to me krylon uh, covers a lot more and sticks a lot faster this one you have to go a lot slower to be able to cover what i could do with this one in two or three coats to be able to do what this one can do in two or three coats i gotta do at least six very light coats of this one that's why I don't like really using this one so basically once the car is uh, it's been in the oven now for five minutes I'm gonna take it out and I will lightly coat it with this one coat put it back in the oven for uh, five seconds ten seconds you know take it out again do another coat and just go see how it start to look once i'm happy with the color right uh i will then clear coat it so once that's done i'll give you a a, a sneak peek before the clear coat so you can see how it looks all right all right guys 
Pick it up. Right now, it only has paint. I just took it out of the oven. It's been in there for five minutes. As you can see, it's very glossy, but it doesn't have any clear coat yet. It's very hot right now. So, uh, <clears throat> I gotta take advantage that it's hot and uh, hit it at least one light coat of, uh, well, actually, to tell you, I did two light coats of the yellow and one heavy coat in about five seconds, 10 seconds inside the oven. That's how I got to this point. Of course, that paint, you can't leave it like that. You gotta protect it because it will come off. It's not uh, a very strong paint. So you gotta do uh, a clear coat over it to protect it. So now let me do the clear coat and uh, I'll be back. All right, fellas. So here it is. I uh, left it in the oven, maybe five minutes. Uh, left it to cool off about 10. Uh, then I did the chrome trims with the chrome pen. I'll leave a link in the video description for that, as you can see. It is dry, I just don't want to leave my fingerprints on it. And uh, word of advice, uh, to get this shine, you don't have to go crazy with the clear coat. If you go crazy with the clear coat and uh, you put it in the oven, you're not going to get this result. All you're going to do is uh, make the clear coat boil and it's going to mess up everything. As you can see, it does look, there's some fingerprint there. So uh, that was over the glove. So when you have a clear gloss finish like this, you know, but you know that doesn't that'll come out once you, once you clean it but here's the result hope you like it uh, i think this is an easy uh, chrome uh, custom for you guys for you guys to do and here is the el pollo loco racing custom i, I think i just changed the name uh, if you like what you saw please give me a like subscribe and share with your friends and I'll see you around. Peace out.